second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Maurice Williams having a dominant impact in this game. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. And you know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Barbosa kicks to Calderon. To the middle. And it's Evans missing. I think he'll think twice about attempting that shot next time. The defense was right on top of him there. Williams passes to Parker. And Leandro Barbosa gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. And so it's Cleveland with it. Trailing by five. And Verizhao kicks to Jameson. A three-pointer, no good. And so it's Calderon who brings it up for Toronto. There's a good screen. And there's the try. Yep, that one goes in there. Calderon's got the first basket of the third quarter for Toronto. The Cavaliers trail by seven. Williams in the post. He's guarded by Calderon. Here's Jameson. Off target from three-point range. And, you know, even though that shot didn't go down, I, I like how they got him a wide-open look in space there. Right at the free-throw line, DeRozan finds Calderon. Toronto working the ball around now. Over Williams. And Calderon gets it to go on the assist from DeRozan. And now it's a nine-point Toronto lead. Pass to Moon. And Jose Calderon gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Ninety seconds now into the second half. There is Zhao with a screen on Evans. Shot is good, and the Toronto lead is cut down now to just seven on the basket from Verizhia. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Calderon against Williams. Barbosa with a screen for Calderon. There's the drive. Count that one. Calderon's got the lead up to nine now for the Raptors. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. And Jose Calderon gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. They've been undisciplined defensively, getting themselves into foul trouble far too early. Here's Williams. He's got 15. That's one for their first four to start the second half. Off the inbound, no good. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Well, they're working the glass really badly in that area of the game, and that's helped them take this lead. Here's Parker after the Raptors pick up two. The shot by Williams, no good. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Evans. A, a moment here now to see the numbers for Mo Williams. A very nice season for him last year. And he was top 10 in free throw percentage. Did not waste opportunities to convert at the line. And you know, back to his tremendous efficiency from three last year, top 10 in the league, he's truly a dead-eye shooter when he gets it going. Now here's Parker. There is Zhao, passes to Williams. Williams missing again. Toronto leading by 11. Here's DeRozan. The shot's good on the assist by Calderon. Calderon's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Calderon against Williams. Little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Wants to get it to Jamison and does. Got another one in the scoring column for him. He's seven of ten from the field. And the shooting has really been there for him today. 
but he may have to take it upon himself to continue to carry this team and try and get out of this hole. Calderon finds Barbosa. DeRozan a screen on Jamison. Evans passes to DeRozan, and he gets it to go. DeRozan's got 16. They're not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Williams against Calderon. Goes up on the wing. That one rolling around and rims out. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Now here's Williams following the miss by DeRozan. Now here is Verizhao. Williams dishes to Verizhao. And there it is for him. Verizhao's got four points now in the quarter. Wow, beautiful feed from Mo Williams. And the Raptors call time here. We need you to get right now. Enjoy. And it's a completely new group for Toronto. And we've got a moment now to look at the highest scoring teams in the NBA from last season. Fifth, the Raptors. I just loved how this team attacked their opponents. You could see their confidence grow as the year went on, and the points really started to pile up. And it's right with the ball for the Raptors. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Boy, I tell you what, nice work offensively. Jack making the right read there. The Cavaliers trail by 13. Williams with a clean look drains the three-pointer. He's got 18. One triple for him in the first half. Now he's hit another. Scott kicks to Jack. Back to Scott. The Cavaliers pull it in. Farajal's got rebound number five here tonight. Jack against Williams. Back to Jamison. Williams against Jack. Shot clock at five. Williams passes to Verizon. And it's slammed in by Verizon. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket guy still shaking. Well, I tell you what, he loaded up as much power as he could behind that two-hand. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. I tell you, we're taking a look at some real deficiencies defensively. I mean, they've given up five straight good looks in the paint. You guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for Toronto? Well, throughout this game, they've been lighting it up from mid-range. I love seeing that. They've made that the focus of their offense, and it's really paid off. And also, they took advantage of their quickness, got inside, and blew through the open lanes. Great job of attacking the paint. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough, but that's how you win games. Jack for three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. They host the Kings after this game. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Parker against Walker. And Moon kicks to Parker. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Just four to shoot. And out of bounds as Toronto gains possession. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Toronto leading by 11. Jack passes to Walker. Down low, Scott. Verizhao comes up with the rebound. Verizhao's got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Parker. Jack with the rebound. You know, the fact is, he's not a lock from there, but he was open enough to where he should have hit that shot. Scott with a screen on Parker. Back to Scott. Stolen by Verizhao. There's Williams. Out to Parker. There's the triple. And Wright pulls it down. Wright's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Out.
outside. Walker. Back to right. Kicks and grabs the board. The Cavaliers trail by 11. Moon with it. Seven points in the game. Pass to Parker. Outside Williams. To the inside. Clock at four. A shot by Hickson. No good. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Hick works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Timeout called Cleveland. Some changes here for the Raptors. Roberts has checked in for Scott. And it's to Rosen in for Walker. And then for Cleveland, Ryan Owens, who's checked in for Parishop. Thomas comes in for Jamario Moon. And Daniel Gibson subbed in for Anthony Parker. Now, here's Thomas. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. That's one he knows he should have drained. Right with a screen on Thomas. Here's Roberts. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Well, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. Jamison, he's checked in for Mo Williams. They can't make the second free throw either. Listen both. That is foul. Roberts. That is first personal foul. 14 fouls. The Cavaliers trail by 14. And Gibson, here we go. And he finishes nicely on the layup. And it's Roberts with the ball. He'll bring it up for Toronto. Jack finds Roberts. Driving to the basket. And a great assist by Jack as that one goes in. Jack's got three assists in the game. Cleveland's gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. We've seen him miss a couple from the line so far, going two for four. At the line for the Cavaliers, Daniel Gibson. First free throw is good. Lynch, he's checked in for Cleveland. And both free throws good from Gibson. Toronto leading by 12. Here's Roberts. Yep, it counts. Roberts got four points now in the quarter. And really the story of this second half. One team getting the shots they want. The other, not so much. And that's why you have such a huge gap in the shooting numbers between the teams. Now here's Jamison. 14 points for him. And Roberts kicks to DeRozan. And DeRozan throws it down hard! Well, I tell you what, DeRozan really packs a punch now. He's an explosive athlete with really good strength. I mean, he's got great size for a backcourt dominant score. And so here's Cleveland after the Raptors pick up two. Here's Lynch. The good-looking shot from the wing. Lynch has got nine points. Diversified scoring in this one for him. I love when everyone can get involved. A full team effort. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. You gotta have some guts and guile to take it to the bucket strong despite the big fella standing in the way. Misses the wing jail. And so is Toronto, enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. They've had such great ball movement and shot selection, and it's led to a terrific field goal percentage. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And the main up 
be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Thomas against Banks. Thomas passes to Hollins. That one good for two. Hollins has got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for Cleveland. In the corner, right with it. Good ball movement here by the Raptors. Back to Richmond. Stolen by Jamison. Outside Gibson. Eleven feet away. That one off the back iron and out. Toronto leading by ten. Thomas with the steal. About a minute played here in the fourth quarter. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Banks against Gibson. Banks dishes to Richmond. Well, good with the triple. The Cavaliers trail by 10. Outside Gibson to the middle. Hickson takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. Any lull in the action so far has been short-lived because there have been nothing but buckets in this one. Now here's Banks. And it's right missing. And here is Thomas. Here's Hickson. And Hickson throws it down. Give credit where credit is due right there. A terrific assist. And for the Raptors, their shooting has been fun to watch in this game. They're at 57%. Here's Wright. The Cavaliers pull it in. Hickson's got six rebounds now in the game. Banks against Thomas. Beyond the arc. Jamison with the basket on the assist by Thomas. And now just a three-point Raptor lead. And this offensive explosion has narrowed the gap. Almost happened too late, partner. I mean, their offense didn't come alive until they were nearly out of it, but it is alive now. Now here is Jack. Inside. No good from Bargnani. Gibson against Jack. And the foul on Jared Jack. And that'll be his third foul so far. Evans, he's checked in for Toronto. The switch here also for Cleveland. Anderson Berejau's checked in for Ryan Hollins. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Outside Gibson. On loads. Good. Nothing but net. Well, uh, they're getting stops. And they're attacking on the offensive end. You know, it's taken a big run, but they were able to get back into this one. Very impressive. No quit in these guys. Now here's Wright. And a chance now to look at the schedule for the Raptors. On Monday, they'll head out on the road to face the Kings in Sacramento. And then on Wednesday, they'll go up against the Jazz in Utah. And for that game against the Trailblazers... It's the second game of a back-to-back, -back, and you know they're going to be feeling the effects of it. Playing that much basketball in that short amount of time really takes a toll. Lynch, he's checked in for Thomas. Jameis in the pass to Verishaw, and it's slammed in by Verishaw. Game winding down, and they just keep changing leads. And guys, no separation yet, and I really don't think we're going to see any all the way down. Jack, the basket good off the assist from Evans. And that's now nine points for Jarrett Jack. And with that basket, he puts a stop to the 13-0 run there by Cleveland. Here's the pass to Hickson. Outside, Jamison. Pass to Verizhao. Six on the shot clock. Gibson against Chad. No good from Gibson. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the boards, we're certainly seeing the effort. And guys, all about hard work from this point on. They've worked hard to create that high-quality shot and then able to knock it down. Lynch against Banks. 
It's hauled in by the Raptors. Evans has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Wright sets a screen for Evans. He kicks it to Banks. A three. Verizhao grabs the board. Verizhao's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Gibson looking it over. The Cavaliers again can't hit. And here's Jack. He'll bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. Here's the dish to Banks. Outside Jack. From deep. Cavaliers with the rebound. Outside Gibson. Lynch passes to Hickson. And Hickson throws it down. Well, they left it until the fourth quarter, but finally the run they needed to get back into this one. I didn't think it was going to happen for them, quite honestly, but they finally turned it on, turned it up a little bit. Now they've got to come up with some stops. Just make sure you keep getting him touches. I mean, you love what he's doing at the offensive end. Don't go away from it. And the Cavaliers call time here. Start it. with some changes. DeMar DeRozan is checked in for right. Barbosa comes in for Marcus Banks. And it's Calderon in for Jarrett Jack. And then for Cleveland, Jamario Moon, he's checked in for Hickson. Parker comes in for Lynch. And it's Williams in for Daniel Gibson. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Well, during that break, Coach Byron Scott had some advice for his team. Now, he was quite encouraging in the huddle. He said, look, you're fighting out there, fellas. I can see it. I need you to keep giving everything you have. Bring this one home. See if they can pull it off, guys. Thank you, David. Now, here is Barbosa. Bo Williams unable to get his shot to go. And the shot goes in. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end. And let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. Raptors leading by three. Here's Barbosa. And that comes off the assist by Calderon. Calderon's got assist number eight now on the night. Cleveland's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Williams against Calderon. And a slam dunk by Jamison. And this is why Jamison is out here in big moments, because he knows he can come through. Here's Barbosa, and he lays it straight in. Barbosa's got six in the quarter. And that's ten straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. I think they've really got to start committing more bodies down low and really kind of close that area off defensively. Now here's Williams. He feeds it to Jamison. To the paint. Verizhao dishes to Jamison. Here's Parker with the three. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Evans has got 11 rebounds in the game. Left side, DeRozan. Back to Calderon. Now Bargnani. On the wing, Evans. Let's it go from deep. Rebound by Anderson Verizhao. Verizhao's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Here's Moon. DeRozan defending. Jamison with a screen on DeRozan. Barbosa with the steal. And here's the break. Here's Bargnani. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And you know you're gonna get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. The Cavaliers trail by eight. Here is Williams. Over Calderon. Here's Moon. Once again off the mark by Cleveland. And guys, not sure where his head was on that shot. Not what this offense was designed to create. Not at all. I mean, that's where they want him looking for a teammate, not trying to do it on his own. He needs to share the wealth there. 
Now Williams, following the three-point attempt by DeRosa. And Leandro Barbosa gets the whistle that time. Timeout, timeout. That's foul number two for him. Timeout called Cleveland. They're behind by eight. We've got 118 left in the fourth. We've got 118 left to play here in the fourth. Calderon against Williams. Down to five on the shot clock. Off target at the rim. They can burn some clock if they want to. And get a little breather as well. And DeRozan kicks to Calderon. Now here's DeRozan. Evans outside. Over Williams. Out to DeRozan. Pass to Calderon. Here's Evans. He's guarded by Williams. Here's DeRozan. Barnett trying to free himself up. And yes, it's good. And the Raptors lead by 10. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. And I think they can start that celebration right now. I mean, what a terrific team victory. Kicks to Barbosa. Back to DeRozan. Over Williams. It's in. And it's a 12-point Toronto lead. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. And so Toronto takes this, but by a big margin. A confident win, and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. Uh, I think they built off that edge of being here and, and playing with just a little more confidence than their opponents. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and...